G'day, this is Shay, and welcome back to a new series of Firewatch. Although it's not so new anymore, it's a couple of days old, so I don't know. I'm really enjoying this game. I am so into the whole storyline. I can really like storyline games. So I'm hoping that you're enjoying it too. If um, you have any questions or anything, things you want me to go back and explore or whatever, then leave a comment down in the se comment section and let me know. Now the instructions were that we were supposed to go through the cave, which we just have, and we're going to survey survey the cables and to go keep going north. So I looked at my map and I'm going north. So this is north. And we're going that way. And I'm not entirely sure that I guess that little dotted line there is where the telephone lines are. Yeah, that's right. So that's where we're gonna be going. So we're gonna lower the map and go for a little jog. Whoops. I'm gonna go for a little jog over here. So we've learned a couple of things about Delilah. We listened in on a conversation she was having with someone else she probably didn't mean us to know or hear about. So that's going to be interesting. Um, didn't ask her what the call was about, which I should have done. Okay, fork in the road. Which way are we going to go? Fork in the road. Uh, the fork doesn't appear on my map. Okay. Okay. Maybe they go the same way. Who knows? Who knows? Do they go the same way? I think they do. I think it just goes around down there. Cool. Are there things down here? Like I can, I see objects, but whether or not we can actually interact with them is another thing. I think we're supposed to just follow the path and do what the girl says. Can we chop down these trees and make a raft? <laughs> make some arrows? Make a, a sword? Ooh, this mist. Amazing. Okay, so let's just check the map again. Checking maps is good. Okay, I don't think that... Uh, okay, so it's coming up here, I think. She didn't give much more detail except to say that it was up here somewhere. Ah, uh, oh, there we go. You can see the utility pole. Here it is. I found the utility pole, Delilah. I can see the wire. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. The all clear for what? What do you mean? I don't understand. Perfect lookout. Hmm. Nope, we can't say anything to her. Okay, so she said to go to the top of the point. She's this way. Can we go up here? No, oh, there's just. There's <laughs> a plant strategically placed, so we can't go that way. Let's go down here. Okay, there's something here. A sign. And it says Beer Tooth Point and Thoroughfare. Fire lookout. Okay. There was something over here. Probably another outhouse by the sound of it. Ugh. Old outhouse? Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, <laughs> you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area. <laughs> Yeah, the wire runs quite a ways north. Just follow it up to the point that I mentioned. Okay, let's go. This way, I'm assuming. Um, can we follow it physically or just by looking at it? <laughs> it looks okay. How often do we need to report this? Mm -hmm. Oh wow, look at this. I'm just going to stand here for the views. It's pretty amazing. Okay, I'm guessing, are we going north? I'm assuming we're going north. Okay, yeah. Look, the little spotted lines are where we've actually walked. So we just need to get back onto the path and keep going to Bear Tooth Point. Okay, let's go. I'm glad we can run. Running is good. Running is very good. Um, when I was younger, we 
we lived on a farm, well I lived on a farm, and we had this river running through our farm. Well we called it a creek because it's not quite as big as a river but it's a little bit smaller. And um, you used to see eels in there all the time. You guys know what an eel is, don't you? Long skinny thing, looks like a snake. It's in the, in the creeks, in the rivers, stream. Um, and we would go fishing for eels all the time. Not that you can actually catch them because they're pretty fast or slippery. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Utility pole. Utility pole. All right, all right, all right. Are we really cut off? So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Yeah. Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. Ooh, I wonder why. This way? Or are we walking the wrong way? Let's give a run. Okay. Anyway, so to catch these eels, we stood on some rocks, which were sort of poking out of the top of the stream, and <laughs> we'd make these, like, makeshift uh, eel fishing lines. Um, with bait, whatever we could find, bits of meat on the end of them and stuff. I remember they used to eat it, they used to never get caught though. We never ever once caught an eel. So we're supposed to go to this top of top of this place here. Let's just check the map and see if there's a, an actual path that leads... Whoa, what was that sound? Someone following me? Someone following me? I heard that. What's this over here? Beer can. Let's report it. Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. So we've only got a certain amount. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Okay, this looks like a good way to go, because it's uh, a clear way. We don't have to go through all of those rocks. Go over all of those rocks. Yeah. Anyway, so back to my eel story. And I remember one day actually falling in the water into the stream. I was able to sort of stop myself from going down the stream, but it was pretty freaky. I mean, you know, I was probably only about, what, 10, maybe 11? Um, and I wasn't like a big girl when I was little, so it's not like I, I mean, I was strong, but I, you know, I was pretty freaked out about this river dragging me down the stream and everything. Needless to say, I didn't go eeling again after that. End of the what? Ah, here we go. What? Okay. End of the wire. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. Yeah, and then that. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people, people die? die yeah. I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. Find them. And the then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. <laughs> of course Ooh. it's illegal. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? <laughs> I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Oh, Yeah, fun. I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. <laughs> I don't know. Um... Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, we're not walking back to our tower, so... Well, they're so... big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Hmm. Well, if we go this way, we're not going back to the camp. So do you reckon we should go back to the camp, or should we just keep going? 
let's have a look at the map and see where we're at. Okay, so we are on the path up to Bear Point Two. Catcom wire. Uh, there's a supply drop over there. Ooh, we should probably try and get to that. I mean, we could, you know, to hell with the story and just go to the supply drop, right? Or we can go back to. She said to go back to our place, but um, I'm I'm ready for a bit of adventure. What do you reckon? I mean, we don't play this game just to find follow the rules. Jeez. Or maybe sometimes we have to actually have to follow the rules. I admit, sometimes I don't like following the rules. I'm a bit of a rebel myself, you know. So we're going to go this way because the beer cans are this way. That's my reasoning. Not just because I don't want to follow the rules, but because there are beer cans this way and I'm going to take away their trail because that means that they can't find their way back. That's probably, they're probably leaving the beer cans so they, know, they think, oh, you know, if we leave the beer cans this way, we can get back to where we were, but they're not going to be able to do that. Whether or not this actually has a result in the game, I don't know, but hey, it's worth a try, right? Right. Okay. Okay, space, long drop down. We also need to scout the area and get to know our surroundings, don't you think? Uh... Can we do anything with this? Jonesy Lake, two miles to the south. The supply drop is this way. Okay, so let's check out the map again. Mm. See, the paths aren't drawn in here, so what the way we're going is completely new. Do we want to risk it, or do we want to go back where it's safe and stuff? That supply drop, did it say it was back the way that I just came? That's bizarre. Oh, I just came down from there, so... Oh, I keep doing that. I really have to stop. Let's go this way and see what there is to find. I like doing this. I like going on adventures out off the beaten track. It's very exciting. Oh, there's a supply drop up there. Okay, so can we report this? No. There's something up here. Did you see it? Just here. The screen thing. <gasps> Check it out! I we can't see any details, but that's okay. It must be quite windy. I can hear the wind. Of course you can hear the wind. Supply cache. Open? I can't open it. Why? That's not fire. The torch. So I'm guessing that... Oh yes, I can. I can. I can. Okay. One, two, three, four. Two forks, moss peak, spruce. Nothing. <laughs> There's nothing in here. Are you kidding me? Oh man. I guess that's one thing about the game is if you're off the beaten track, you tend not to get the things that you're supposed to get. So I'm not, I can't even lock that back up. Would I take... What have I, have I got the thing in my hand? The padlock? I can't even report anything. Alright, does that mean I have to follow the game rules and go back? Can I get around this rock please? No rock should get in my way. Okay, we'll go up to the top of this point up here to the left. And then... We'll go back the other way, because that's what she said we should do. And we've got to follow the rules. Because otherwise the game no work. Oh, is that a thing? No. Oh, there's something up here. <gasps> Check it out! Whoa! Can we do this? I want to do this! Wait, we should really find out what it was she said we should do, eh? Um... Okay, so we've gone right up to the top of the map. I think it's about time we head back. I'll head back, back to where the cut wire was, and we'll see you back there, guys. Okay, come to here, and there's a big, there's things to look at, so let's have a little look. Apparently we have to walk across here. What's on my hands? They look green for a minute there. Carabiner. There was something up here though. Aha! A 
found this hanging backpack what is this Brian Goodwin there's an abandoned pack out here and it's not one of the teens no it looks like it was lost a long time ago Ooh. well you could always pilfer it for supplies what do we find in here a camera yeah, you've got a camera. Well, I am Rope. flush with ropes now. Yes. That pack was full of them. In decent con condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. <laughs> with pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. <laughs> wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. I wonder if she knows him. Do you him. know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Hmm. Hmm. You've caught her off guard, I feel. She's a bit... Whoa, what's happened here? Okay, this is just a nice... Anyway, little... yeah, Brian oh, oh. Goodwin. Oh, oh, I didn't reply. Damn he it. was stationed in Two Forks, near Lookout, mm. with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Hmm. Did you keep in You touch? guys keep in touch, you and the Goodwin kid? Nah. They took off pretty unceremoniously. Plus, <laughs> what's a 40-year-old woman gonna do with a teenage pen pal? <laughs> well, good point. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep oh, you company while you find those girls, huh? Hmm. Can we get down, or is it not? No. Yep. I can't look down. <laughs> That's probably a good thing. Okay. Another one. Lots of rope. That's amazing. Why don't we just use the yellow one? <laughs> I wonder if we could have got down any other way. Probably not. Spacebar repel. I don't feel like we've got very far in this episode, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> we went the wrong way. But look what we found. Okay. Now, see there are ropes up there? I sort of feel like we should need to find out what they are, where they are. Where are we on the map? I don't think the map's very good for... Oh, whoa, we're way over there? The heck? Okay. We need to get back to our base though, which is a thing. So what does this say? Two Forks and Jonesy Lake. So Jonesy Lake is that way, which is where we were yesterday. Yesterday in the game, yesterday, which is the day before, in um, my video time, and two forks is that way, so that's the way we need to go. Let's open this. One, two, three, four. Supply cash. Copy information. Oh, there's some flowers. Someone's left me the flowers. Cool, now let's look at the map. Did it update it, like, um... Update all the stuff up here. Oh, look at that. That's where we were before. Did we miss one up there? We might have. Oh, this is so much fun! I'm loving this game. The fact that we can just, you know, note. Take the note. Uh, read. Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man Ron. I want to check up on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for aloes. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I started to think the Forest Service only picks a deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Hmm, what's Deb? Is Deb the... Oh, it's not an acronym. It's an actual name. Okay. Um, keep, I'm gonna keep it. 
also going to have a look in here because I know that. Um, hey man, couldn't take it, so I looked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked hiking into the park. But let's get when I'm back. Bleh, bleh. <laughs> let's get mm, when I'm back. Okay, so tab to close that. What else is in here? Loose stone, pick up. Can I examine it? Why would I examine a stone? Can we drop it? And fossilized claw. Examine. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Cash oh, box. really? <laughs> She's not interested in that. Anything else? What is this? Flowers of some kind? Can we zoom in on that? Photo dome. The place for photos. That looks very old school, doesn't it? So we can't actually take them or anything. We just can just close it. Nothing more. Okay, leave the fossilized stone on there because we can't take that either. And figure out where we're going next. Can we go up that way? We might be able to. Do we have the ability to go up here? Best part? No. I'd go up there if I were actually here. Gar. Oh, what's that? Thin columns of smoke. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Wow, so many Keep things an eye to on that do. Smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. So if we're going to find the source of the smoke. Um, what was the other thing we had to do? We had to do a few things. It was finding the the com wire, fixing that, and now we've got this thing here. So hmm. Um, yeah. Also finding the teens. Just That's so the other you one. know, I didn't mean to overstep my bounds earlier when you brought up your wife. Reply. Well, you did. You can't just do that. You well, know. you did. You blatantly. You can't just do that, you know? And honest. I know. I know. I, I, I don't know anything about you or your life. So, tell me about her, if you want. Uh, She's actually very sick. I shouldn't be here. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Choices. Choices. Uh, where are we going to go? So we can go... Oh, that one goes back up and loops around... The other one goes back down here, sort of towards where we came from. Am I good at reading maps? Probably not. I don't even know if this is the way that, like, because there's two, there's this here, and then there's the other one. So if we, can we, can we get up here? Or we have to lower the map first. Space bar. <laughs> Let's go to the first one. That's always a good thing to do, right? Oh my goodness, it looks like it's like being burned down already. So, okay. That's kind of going in the direction that we need to go, which is of the source of the smoke. It sounds like someone's walking around near here. Does it, can you hear that? Oh. Thin column of smoke. Yes, we know that it's a thin column of smoke. Is somebody spying on us? It's just a rustling of the leaves. Just the rough, rough, ruffling of the leaves. Leaves. Leases. Oh my goodness. Well, this is what we're here for. To protect, isn't it? Burned tree. Really? Is it a burned tree? Can we say anything about it? No. Okay, guys. So we are getting through this game pretty well. I mean, now we've actually found evidence that someone has been tampering with our lives. And we've tampered with theirs. And... We're finding the teens and we found the third plume of smoke. 
So tune in for the next episode when we're going to find out hopefully what that smoke is. If not, then we're going. Something is going to happen. I love this. This is kind of open world, but it's not open world. Like you can't go everywhere. But the pink flowers. So this has been burned down quite some time ago. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Flapjack? Excuse me, flapjack. You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't. But I do now. <laughs> well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Oh, yay. I'm so excited. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? <laughs> it's beautiful! Okay, let's check the map. M. Where are we? Okay, we're heading back towards home and the thin plume of smoke is somewhere over there. Okay guys, so in the next episode we're going to go to the plume of smoke and I can't even see it from here now so and, um, it looks like the sun's on its way down to bed. So night will be upon us. So as always, if you're watching this, please leave a like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and feel free to engage in the conversation in the comment section of this video. I really enjoy hearing what you guys have to say. I appreciate your support, so thanks so much. It's what I'm here for. Yeah. See you next time. Bye!